Welcome back. There was an historic changing of the guard at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard and Intermediate Maintenance Facility last week. Captain Diana Wolfson has taken over as commander, making her the first woman commander at any Navy shipyard. She replaces Captain Howard Markle, who had led the base and its 15,000 sailors and civilian employees since 2015. Thank you so much for joining us and oh, congratulations. Thank you, Myron. That I is an amazing it. thing in history. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks uh, for having me. How'd you start? start out in the Navy? Uh, well, uh, actually, my father was in the U.S. Army, and so I'm a military brat, so I'm born and raised in a military Me family. Too. Air Force, yes. but I get it. <laughs> yes, and so really, I didn't picture my life any other way growing up, so, you know, from high school and looking, you know, at future uh, schools and colleges, I selected the Merchant Marine Academy because there were many options afterwards, and so I ended up, uh, that's how I got in the Navy and pursued the career this way. So. There you are. Ah, yes. Is that that's, graduation? It is. It is. That's my mom <laughs> and my dad, and um, yep, that was a proud day for us. I bet it was for the whole family, of course. <laughs> so what have been your series of steps up? Well, I, uh, so originally I, um, I went through the nuclear power pipeline. So I was a, a surface warfare officer on the nuclear side. So my first uh, aircraft carrier was the USS George Washington, where I qualified both in the, in the plants and then I qualified as mm -hmm. officer of the deck. Uh, and then I, I thought, you know, there weren't a lot of women role models at the time um, that I was uh, as maturing in my career. And, um, and I, and I, I wanted to do something different and I selected this engineering duty officer program. So I lateral transferred into that program looking forward to, um, you know, having a family at some point and, uh, and, you know, seeing where it would take me. And so I ended up, I ended up lateral transferring to that and going to a series of shipyards through my career and I just fell in love with maintenance. And, uh, and that's sort of where I am today. I've been in, I've been in shipyard maintenance uh, my entire career practically, and, and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. With just 15,000 people to look after, no big deal. Yeah, just 15,000 people. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what has been the experience of being a female in the military and how it's changed over the years since you started? Well, I think um, I think the Navy has 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 really been inclusive. I, I may be the first female shipyard commander of a public shipyard, but there have been a number of women that have preceded me in the Navy and in and in other branches of the military. There have been many commanding officers in different fields. I mentioned surface warfare, mm -hmm. aviation. I happen to be in engineering duty, but there have been a number of uh, of women that of women that have preceded me. Um, and so really, um, I'm very grateful and humbled to be in this timing um, to be here today. You know, women were first allowed on combatants in you know, the early 90s. And so that's about the time that I graduated from the Merchant Marine right. Academy. So you know, 20 plus years later from that time frame, <laughs> you know, here, here you are. Here I am. And, um, and so it's, it's really um, you know, where I've aspired to be my whole career. Well, it's got to be meaningful to the people coming up behind you and even little girls who see somebody in command and, and think, I can envision myself in that position because mm -hmm. I've seen you. Well, actually, my daughter and I have this conversation. So um, my daughter's uh, just about to turn 15, mm -hmm. and you know we often talk about oh, you know our favorite subjects when we grew up, and when she's has she's growing up, and she loves math and science right now. Those are her favorite subjects, and so you know what I talk to her about is you know really you just have to have a passion. Uh, for what you what you love to do and once you find that you're gonna wake up every day and you're gonna want to be successful because you love what you do and uh, and that's the advice that I give her I'll be happy you know with whatever it is that she decides yeah. to do but um, but it's really about that passion and it makes you want to get out of bed every morning I'm sure you you sure. know you love what you do sure. and, it, and it gets you out of bed every morning and that's sort of what um, I hope for you know girls and uh, coming up, whether it's in the Navy or graduating from high school, you know, whatever it is that they decide to do, um, it's to, to love what you do and, and pursue it. Uh, it's excellent advice. So as the commander, the new commander, what does your role entail? 
Wow. Um, so as you mentioned, <laughs> pretty um, much everything. Great. Right, having been in this seat for a very short time, um, it's a truly it's about um, returning our our nation's naval assets, um, you know, back to back to our navy, and uh, and I take that um, very seriously. Um, we have an incredible mission in front of us, specifically at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard and um, Intermediate Maintenance Facility. You know, so what we does work, that mean? Explain yeah. what that what, well, what that entails. We work on uh, we work on aircraft carriers. We work Work on submarines. Uh, we also retire, uh, you know, vessels as well. Um, something that's unique to this area, mm -hmm. and so it's a pretty tremendous responsibility uh, that we have. We um, we work very closely with our communities here. Um, I've just been just blown away, to be honest with you, with the amount of outpouring that we have in this community and the outreach that we do with the community and that the community does with us. So it's been very um, it's been very impressive just being here, you know, for the past few weeks just at the care and feeding that we give each other. What more can we do as a community when you see um, when you see military members retire or leave the service? Mm -hmm. What else can we do as a community to welcome them and help that transition? Well I think um, I think we never forget them and we honor them uh, and uh, we have opportunities when uh, when folks leave the military to come back and apply for positions at the shipyard uh, but but mainly um, it's to it's the pride and the patriotism you know re returning our fl our assets back to the fleet for our navy um, is so important that uh, that we do that on time so that they can have the reliability and know that they're going to get their assets yeah. back and ship that, shape yeah and, and really that's <laughs> You know, that to me, there's no greater honor. There's no greater honor than that. But well, we wish you all the luck and thank you for your service. Oh, thank appreciate you. it. I Be interested that. to see what your daughter does. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> keep, us, keep us posted.